one of the benefits of having a Franklin Google account is that all users will have one login with access to many services. Be able to use Gmail, Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Sites, Google Calendar. Another benefit of having a Google Apps account is that it doesn't matter what type of computer you have because Google Apps is all online. So no matter if you have a Mac computer or a Windows computer at home, you can get to your Google Apps account using the internet browser. To access your Google Apps account, you technically can use any browser. You could use Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, or Chrome. However, we have found when using Google tools, it is best to do so in Chrome if possible. Chrome is a free download if you search it out online. To access your Google Apps account, it is best to go through the Franklin District webpage. Students can go to the student menu choice. On the student links page, there is a button for the Franklin Google Apps student login area. Your username for your Franklin Google Apps account is going to be first.last at franklinsabers.org, and that is .org, not .com or .net, so please make sure you use .org at the end of your username. Student passwords will be set so that they're the same as the password you use to sign on to the computer uh, when you're in the district. So that password is going to be the word SABERS with a capital S at the beginning, followed by the four digits of your PowerSchool password. A good idea right now is to take out your planner and write this somewhere in your planner. When signing in at the Franklin Public Schools student area, make sure that you see at franklinsabers.org, just located under the username box. If you don't see this, you might be at the incorrect login page. If that is correct for franklinsabers.org, all you have to put in in the username box is your first dot last. Don't put at franklinsabers because it's already listed there under the username box. And then enter your password and click sign in. It is good to know that you also can sign into your Google account at a regular Google page. So here is the screen at a regular Google Drive login page. It's not the Franklin login page. And if you choose to go into any Google service, you just have to make sure to type the complete email address, which is first.last at franklinsabers.org. The very first time you log in, you'll be presented with this welcome to your new account message. And this is the terms of service. Please do read through this. And when you're ready, click I accept, continue to my account. And you will only see this the first time you log in. When you sign in through the Franklin Google sign-in page, you'll see a welcome message and also a list of services that are available to you. You'll be using Drive and Docs a lot for creating files. You'll probably also be accessing email or Gmail from here. If you sign in at a regular Google page, or if you're in any Google service, more than likely there's usually a black bar at the top that shows all the different services you can go to. And if you don't see the service you're looking for, you can click the More button to see more choices. To fully sign out of your Google account in whatever browser you're using, you have to click on your name up in the top right corner and then choose Sign Out. It is good, especially if you share computers with other siblings at home, to make sure you always sign in and sign out of your Google account so other people can't get access to your files. Thanks for learning a little bit about your Google Apps account, how to get in and how to get around. Please remember this is a school district account. The school district technically owns your account. Any emails you send, any documents you create can be looked into. Uh, they are archived as well, so please be responsible with your account. Your teachers will give you directions on which tools to use for which purposes, and thanks for watching.